What we've got next is a horizontal safety line, 20 meter long piece of equipment, which can be tensioned between two columns. Again, allowing us to move between those areas in a relatively safe fashion. And also what we've got there here as well is two attachment slings for anchoring around bits of steel work, okay? When setting this system up, it's always good practice to have an anchor point as high as possible into relation to your body, okay? So when I'm putting these slings around, I'm not just gonna wrap them around, because what I'll find will happen there is it'll just keep sliding down on me. So I always find it good to get them as high as possible and choke them back on themselves, pulling it tight. Hopefully, it should stay in position where you put it. This span at the moment that we're doing is probably around about four or five metres, OK? But don't remember, don't forget the horizontal safety line can up to 20 metres. The kit is stitched into the bag, OK? So nothing can go missing, OK? So we've got our 20 metres of webbing, which you can just put on the floor for the time being, OK? Also, what you should find in the bag is a ratchet for tensioning the system up, okay? And then the, the webbing at the end of the kit is actually stitched into the bag with a loop with another connector on, and that is gonna go directly onto the sling, okay? The reason I've attached the bag in on first, okay, I just find it easy then, because I can use this point here now as an anchor point to span the rest of my horizontal safe line across. So as I'm simply just gonna start pulling it through now, okay, see how it's just feeding through the ratchet? Okay. And there we go, clipping directly onto the sling as well. Okay, again, making sure it's quite high up in relation to your body where you're working. Okay, what we're going to do now is going to tension up the horizontal safe line. Because at the moment, I'd say this is no good. Okay, so this is where we need to start using the ratchet to tension them up. Okay, I'm going to pull as much slack through as possible. Okay, holding them parallel with each other as well. Because what you're going to find there, if you didn't do that, you let it hang down, it would cross thread onto the spool and you won't get any tension on it and you'll probably end up damaging your ratchet. Okay, so I'm going to pull it through, okay, and we're going to start tensioning it. So just releasing the clip on the back of the handle, it brings the, the ratchet out into play. Okay, so I'm just going to start tensioning them up, again, keeping them parallel, okay, until I've got the right tension on it. Okay. So what I'm looking for there is just behind the back of the ratchet, I've got a tension force indicator. I don't know if you can see, we've got like a tooth sticking out. And we've got a half semicircle. As long as you've got that tooth level with that line or with inside that semicircle, that should be okay. As you see there, it's just in level. It's just gone inside with the semicircle. Any leftover webbing, don't leave it around on the ground because what you'll find there, it'll just start picking up dirt and grit, okay? And you won't get as much time out of it. So, coiling them back up, okay? Popping them back into the bag, okay? Seal the bag up, and there we go, ready to use. This is a typical application of the horizontal safety line. We would span the 20 metre line out along the side of the ship, and this would be to protect a guy, providing him with fall arrest anchorage over a 20 metre span while walking up and down over the sea. All he would do is attach the inertia device to the horizontal safety line. So he connects into the inertia device and that's him protected. And the operation would be moving the block along while he walks to the sea's edge. Should he fall off, the device will engage, suspending him above the water where he can be rescued or self-recover. Again, walking back up, he can actually take the device with him. So first of all, tension the line up as much as you can do by hand. One hand holding the two big red bits of web together, so yep. they're parallel. What you're looking for on the indicator... So it goes inside the plastic piece, yeah? Well, it literally has to be... So there's no visible fresh no air visible between the between, two yeah? sticking down and the flat bit underneath. That completes the contents of the crate. These items of equipment should allow you now to work safely at height.